A big ethics cloud now hangs over the National Labor Relations Board. President Trump's last nominee for the NLRB, William Emanuel, faces an investigation by the agency's inspector general because he broke the ethics rules by participating in a case that his former law firm is involved in. The board has now vacated one of its most consequential decisions because the IG determined that it was tainted by Mr. Emanuel's conflict of interest. Mr. Ring, you have a background that is very similar to that of Mr. Emanuel's. You've spent decades representing the interests of large corporations for a notoriously anti-union law firm. This committee needs to dot every I and cross every T when it comes to making sure that you are able to serve without the kinds of ethical conflicts that have been created by Mr. Emanuel. So let me ask, if confirmed, you've said you'll follow the White House's ethics pledge and refrain from participating in matters involving your former clients, which include companies like Amazon, Marriott, Pratt and Whitney, is that correct? Right, yes, Senator. Good, and um, I, I also wanna ask, uh, it, it, Mr. Emanuel gave me exactly that same assurance do you understand that you must recuse yourself in any matter in which your former law firm, Morgan Lewis, represents a party? That, that's my understanding of the ethics rules, yes. Okay, and in order to ensure that you do so, will you commit to providing me and other members of this committee a list of cases currently pending before the NLRB in which your law firm represents a party? Senator, we, we discussed this earlier, and, and I, um, I, I wanted to say that uh, I take this issue very, very seriously, and for that reason, we are compiling a list um, f for the very reason you discussed, because I, I do not want to be in the position w w that Member Emanuel finds himself in, and I don't want to put another cloud over the NLRB. I'm sorry, so is that a yes, that yes. you will provide this list? Because the only reason we know about Mr. Emanuel's apparent ethics violations is because we were able to dig up information after he was confirmed. It would be nothing short of negligent at this point for this committee to let it come to that again. So I want to be sure about this, and I want to know we're going to get this list of all the clients before we have to take a vote on your nomination. Is that right? That's my understanding, yes. Okay, good. And uh, will you also commit to providing a list of cases that have been decided by the NLRB uh, but that are currently on appeal in which your law firm represents a party? On appeal before an appellate right. court? We, we need, yes, the ones that are still not resolved, finally. I believe that's part of the list that we are compiling. Good. All right. Thank you. I'll take that as a yes. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ring.